Hello YouTube, this is Brendan. Quick video here describing how you find the derivative of the square root of x for your calculus class. So let's say your function is given by f of x is equal to the square root of x. Well how do you find the derivative of this? And the answer is you just use a little bit of algebra followed by the exponent rule. So the little bit of algebra is just that the square root of x is the exact same thing as x to the one half. And once you make that connection, we can use the exponent rule, which requires you to bring this one half down to the front and then subtract one from it. We would find that f prime of x is equal to one half of x raised to one half minus one, which is just negative one half. Now again, a lot of times your teachers don't want you to write this with a negative exponent. So we could drop that x to the one half down into the denominator to make it a positive one half. We can go a little bit further with this if we want. We can choose to write this as one over two root x. And finally, another possibility is where you actually rationalize the denominator because you don't want the square root of x in there. You would do that by multiplying this by root x over root x. So you would end up with the square root of x over 2x. Now, it's very possible that on a test or on an AP exam, if this question is multiple choice, uh, you could see any one of these formats. So just be aware that maybe you've done the problem right, but you just haven't switched it into the proper form, or perhaps you went too far and went past the form that's provided. We'll do one more example here, one where there's a coefficient. So maybe f of x is equal to three times x the square root of x. Then recall that just f of x, this is the same as three times x to the one half. So then if we wanted to go ahead and take the derivative we would do one half, bring it to the front. So three times one half is three halves times x raised to the negative one half power. Now the negative one half will cause the x to drop down into the denominator. So this would be three over two x to the one half, which again, we could choose to write as three over two root x and if we rationalize it just as we have up here, we would find that this is equal to three root x over two x. And again, any of one of those answers might appear. Uh, pay attention to what your teacher says. Your teacher may want you to uh, go all the way to the end here, or they may want you just to leave it in this form. Uh, it's very particular depending on the class. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.